Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create five different text animation inside of After Effects. This tutorial is going to be super helpful to freshers for people who are very new to After Effects because I will be explaining every step in detail. And this video will give you an idea about how to get started with text animator properties in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. But before we start, make sure you click that subscribe button because 70% of you guys watch my video but haven't subscribed yet. I have more than 500 tutorials that you can binge watch right now so enjoy it it's absolutely free and now let's start today's video all right so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition let's call this title underscore zero one 1920 by 1080 30 fps and 10 seconds long duration press ok then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want i'm gonna type in a wiggle let's keep it white and for the font i'll go with one of my favorite font that is helvetica now display and bold all right now to add the nice wiggle effect or the wiggle animation let's jump into the text properties and in the text we get an option called animate so let's click on this button and here we have number of different properties let's select the position property and let's give it a very minimal position of three and five all right and then you will see this add button in the animator one so i'll click on this and let's now add a selector select wiggly selector and in the wiggly selector we get number of different options you don't need to worry about them all we have to do is bring down the wiggles per second by one and then bring down the correlation down to zero so if i preview our text you can see every letter wiggles with the individual position so if i increase the correlation now the complete letter wiggles and as i keep bringing down the correlation percentage you can see every letter is animating or wiggling on its own so i'll set this to zero and now we get this really cool look but to take this one step forward i will add a posturized time effect on this so let's select the layer go into effects and presets search for posturized time double click to apply this and what this effect is going to do is change the frame rate of this particular layer so any animation that we have on this layer is going to have a frame rate of the frame rate that we set here in the posturized time so right now it's set to 24 fps if i set this down to maybe 5 now the animation is going to animate as if it's made with 5 fps or it's you know animating at the speed of 5 fps so this is really cool and the combination of wiggle and posturized time gives us this really interesting text animation so you can use this kind of um, text as subtitles in any kind of paper texture videos so it would look really cool to add any name so let's say i add a name here it looks really really nice so let's zoom in a little and you can anytime play with the position that we added so i can go right here let's increase this so let's say if i made this maybe around 10 and this to 50 so we have this really abstract look so 50 is too much let's go 20 and you can see we get this really interesting stop motion kind of look so in case if you're making a stop motion short film or something like that this kind of text animation can be used as a nice title for your video now let's duplicate this let's create another cool title animation so this is going to be a nice and cinematic one so let's select the text tool and i'm going to type in cinematic let's go ahead and make this all caps and for the font i'll go with maybe something like um, integral okay let's bring down the size a little bit now let's again jump into the text properties go into animate and let's add a property of position then i will go into add another property of let's go with opacity 
and finally another property of blur right here you can see we have only two position properties because our layer is 2d we do not have the z position so what we need to do is let's press ctrl z to get rid of everything and turn our layer into a 3d layer then go into the text properties animate and turn on enable per character 3d okay and now if i go into animate and add a property of position you can see we get three properties for the position then click on add property of opacity and add a property of blur so we need to bring this into z space so i'll set this to around maybe minus 2000 should be fine yep that's fine and let's increase the blur amount all the way up to 100 all right now let's go into the range selector and let's animate the offset let's go at the very start and set the offset to minus 100 and create a keyframe go to two seconds and set this to positive 100 then when i go into the advanced properties i'll set the shape to ramp up so now when you preview this we have something like this pretty cool now here is where the opacity will come into play so i'll set the opacity down to zero and now when i preview this we have this really nice animation but to take this one step forward we can increase the ease low all the way up to 100 and then turn on randomize order so now when we preview this we have this random letters coming in and if you want to change the way it animates i can just play around with the random seed so we're going to get a different look pretty cool right there you go really nice and cinematic so it's a very simple technique of creating this elegant cinematic looking text animation in after effects now let's go ahead and check out the third animation so i'll duplicate this again so now we have title 3 jump into the title 3 composition get rid of this text and let's add a new text so i'm going to select the text tool and type in a text so let's type in scary stories and for the font i'll again go with helvetica this time i'll go with regular and we don't need full caps on so i'll turn that off and align this into the center then go into text properties animate and this time i'm gonna add an opacity and set that down to zero then go into the range selector one and animate it so i'll go at the very start set a keyframe on the start property so i'll click on the stopwatch make sure it's set at zero go to maybe around two seconds and set this all the way up to 100 so now we have a very simple text reveal and then what i'm going to do is going to animate and add another property of blur so this is going to create animated 2 and now we can set the blur amount really high maybe something like 20 or something and then let's animate the start property again in the range selector create a keyframe go right here and set this to 100 and then if I move this keyframe forward by a few seconds, like so, here we have this really nice animation. As you can see how our text is blur, first a little bit blurry and then it comes into focus. So it, it looks like the text is out of focus and then slowly it's coming into focus. So I can maybe move this a little more forward and you can see we can also play around with the blurriness. So we can increase the uh, blur amount if we want to. But that is way too much i think 20 is a nice sweet spot and it's a very simple effect but looks very very cool if you use it correctly now let's jump on to a next text animation so i'll duplicate this let's go into title 4 i can delete this and this is one of my favorite one without a doubt so let's select the text layer type in anything i'll type in creative maybe okay now one thing you need to make sure is select the text layer go into the paragraph and make sure the alignment is set to center it should be on left by default so make sure you click it and set it to the center alignment this is going to come in handy when we add a tracking property on this so let's select this i'll select uh, maybe a bold version okay and then what i'm going to do is go into animate and add a property of a position then go into add property add a property of opacity and finally another property of tracking so let's bring down the tracking really close like so maybe by minus 80 or 70 let's go minus 80 bring down the opacity but before that let's bring down the position like so around 150 should be good and set the opacity to zero 
then i'll go into the range selector and let's animate the offset so i'll set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe go to around two seconds and um, set this to positive 100 so now we have something like this now let's go into the advanced properties and change the shape to ramp up and bring up the ease low so let's increase this to 100 percent and now we have something like this so if i preview this you have this really cool animation i think it's a bit too slow so let's bring that closer pretty nice Maybe a bit more yep that is looking really cool i think and one more thing that you can do is select the text and let's create a mask over it so i'll create a mask like so and this is going to give us this really nice effect like the text is popping out of something which looks really cool but to take this one step forward what we can do is duplicate this press ctrl d let's move this a bit forward in time put this below select the top one and switch this to stroke so now when we preview this we have an extra layer of detail into our text which looks really cool as you can see so this can be a really interesting way of using this for a title reveal or maybe an intro or something like that and finally let's jump on to our fifth technique or the fifth title animation so i'll press ctrl d to duplicate the composition go into title 5 let's delete this let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want i'm gonna type in waves make sure it's set to fill and i'll set this to maybe an extra bold and full caps as well select the text layer go into effects and presets and search for an effect called wave warp double click to apply that let's go into the wave type and we have different set of properties here but i'm going to select the sawtooth one and let's increase the wave height to around 20. let's um bring up the wave height sorry the wave width to 80 set the direction to zero and let's bring down the wave speed to around 0.7 and now when we preview this we have this really interesting text animation and this actually this text animation is inspired from peter mckinnon's title animation he has one of his title where this kind of effect is played which i thought was really cool and i thought it's really simple to create so why not i share it with you guys so that is how you can create this five different and cool looking title or text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin now if you guys want to learn to create more such amazing title or text animations then i have a complete playlist ready for you with over 40 50 plus tutorials which are absolutely free to watch you can binge watch it right now link to which is in the description below and you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pawar with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments below which text animation out of these five you find super useful or super creative i would love to know your answer you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar all the links are in the description below and i have a complete playlist on such amazing text animation ready for you that you can binge watch right now so make sure to check out this playlist you will love it so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.